Terminator 2 is the most hyped up movie in the entire franchise, making it the best film in the action sci-fi genre. I enjoyed it myself as well. When it comes to video games, there is a shitload of them. I mean seriously, there's too much in my hand that I can't even hold it up. The most famous is the arcade game in 1991. It was released for the Super Nintendo and the Sega Genesis. The gameplay is mind-blowing. It's a classic arcade-style rail shooter. You load up your gun and you blast all the Terminators to save our kind. But when it comes to these two games, sometimes the graphics are coming into a question. In the Genesis version, I don't know that Skynet ever made Terminators in gold. Either way, the graphics in both of these games are great, but they have some changes to the designs. For example, this giant metal catastrophe in the Super Nintendo version looks just like the one in the movies. But in the Genesis version, he looks so oddly familiar. Hmm. Nah, forget it. Sometimes the sounds don't make sense in the Super Nintendo version. For example, when you shoot your comrades, it sounds like you're killing kids. I'm not kidding, that's what it sounds like to me. But in the Genesis version, much better. And some other times it could be head scratching. I mean seriously, how come the fire isn't animated there or is it just witchcraft? Oh, I'm going insane right now! I got as far as right up here. I had to save John Connor from this gigantic plane and there he goes, dead. The game is repetitive, but it is a classic in the arcades. The home ports has took some advantages with the controls. Like for the Genesis, you get to use the Sega Manister, but on the Super Nintendo version, you get to use the mouse and mouse pad from Mario Paint and even the Super Scope. But playing with the scope is uh, pretty interesting, but the best way to play this is in the arcades if I can ever find one. And to make this awkward, it was also released on Game Boy! No comment. Piece of shit! Now for Terminator 2 on the NES, and it all starts off with that shit rainbow on the bottom of the label. Seriously, why is LGN keep making these stupid movie tie-in games? Well, you know the phrase, a sucker's born in every minute? Well, that could explain everything. Not to mention the fact that they were responsible for every single Nintendo port, including the arcade versions. LJN proudly presents, I bet they are. This is the beginning line of when the Terminator 2 games are following the movie, since it was an awesome movie, how could you go wrong with that? So in this game, you're the Terminator, and things don't start off good. Right off the bat, you might know that some of the enemies can go down with just a simple punch to the face. It might be simple, except when there's a lot more to pile you up like a bunch of tigers! The punching sound effects are just annoying. I mean, it's just a sound effect, and it keeps making that noise, even if you're not punching someone. What kind of sense does that make? Are they too lazy to just make a whoosh effect? But seriously, it sounds more like someone hammering wood with no nails. All I had to say that this game is a monotonous button masher. It's not the kind of game I'm a fan of. Well, there is something I found that is pretty interesting. If you go up to a ledge, then jump off, you can stop on their asses. Now that is more like it. It saves some energy for me. So I made it to the bar and I encountered this giant. Seriously, there is something wrong here. You're supposed to be the fucking Terminator, so are you supposed to be taller than him? Feels like bullshit. Well, he's not even that hard. It took me some time, but I just had to maneuver him and there I go. I beat him. The next level is so unforgivable. It is cool that you're driving a motorcycle, but this level is just a train wreck. Because one smack from any obstacle equals an instant death. Trying to go through an open gate? Dead. Trying to shoot that giant truck? Dead. Hitting a car? Dead. Slipping on oil? Dead. Alright, the last one I made up, but seriously, it's like the game is trolling me! Shit! Piss off! Whoa! Well, like the previous Terminator games, that's right, no continues. Ah, fuck this. If this game has no continues, then I'm done. I can't help it. But I heard they used some key scenes from the movie, but uh, I'm not gonna suffer through this mess. I mean, seriously, I quit. I give up. I'm done. Next! Alright, so here we got the Game Boy version. Out of all the Game Boy games I've played, this is the one 
that I hated the most. You want to know why? Well, let's take a look. In the beginning, we start off as John Connor in the future. Well, that's okay. Well, there's not much to say about this, but you only get one life in this game. And somebody has to be a dick to program that. So I go around and shoot these generated towers or whatever, but what I didn't realize is that you have to shoot them in a specific order. And if you don't, the game just kills you off! Don't you ever hate it when a game does that to you? So, this is where I shut off the game and call it a day. Fuck this turkey. I don't care. Next! So here we got the last game in my collection. Terminator 2 on the Super Nintendo. So the game starts off with a crappy remix of the Terminator theme. I mean seriously, is it really that hard to put the Terminator theme in a Terminator game? Guess you guys are just lazy bastards or you don't want to get the rights for it. <sighs> yep, lazy. That's it. That's it. They're lazy bastards. So if you keep the title screen running, you'll see a naked Arnold walking into a bar, and they censored him Austin Power style. <laughs> oh, I had to admit it, that is pretty funny. But that's the only enjoyment I'm getting throughout the entire game. So we kick this game off with our clothes on, thank Jesus, and with the controls... Oh my god, this is just fucking stupid! He looks like he's been hanging on his neck while he's jumping! Holy shit, this is bad and we all know it! Look at all this, I am going nuts right here! Am I drinking some Astrid or something? Alright, I had enough fun. So, the object of the first level is to find John Connor's address, get an assault rifle, and collect future objects. So let me get this straight. You get a phone number before some jackass blows it up, you beat the shit out of everyone all for a gun, and then you blow the containers up after you get the gun. Yeah, try punching this container, it never works. If this is some sort of math equation, then all hope is fucked up. So I got the address, the gun, and the future objects. Now we can move on to the next level, which is... That's it, I give up. I don't care, I'm done. I am done with this game! This is just bullshit! I don't care! I don't care if you want to keep me playing this! This is just ridiculous! I don't care! I don't freaking care! I don't fucking- WHAT IS THIS MESS?! The sprites are so small, I needed to get my eyes checked to see if that's right! I did just that, and this is supposed to be what it is. This is just ridiculous. This is one of the worst driving stages I've ever played in a video game. I can't even control that little motorcycle there. Yeah, that motorcycle is me. <sighs> I'm so confused here. It seems that this level has no logic here. No freaking logic brought into making in this entire game. This game is just made to piss me off. This is made to piss any fan of the Terminator franchise. Fuck this. And the motorcycles, and everything! Everything in this game freaking sucks! I don't care if I'm on the second level! It just farts fire right out of your ass! That's it! That's as far as I made it! And in fact, that's all the Terminator games I have in my collection. So without any doubt, if I consider one of the worst movie tie-in games, it'll go to Terminator 2 on the Super Nintendo. Out of all the Terminator games I've played, this one has to take the cake. Now, I'm gonna have to learn about the limitations of the NES and the capabilities of the Super Nintendo. Would you think that this version should have been the best one by far? And nevertheless, we all know it's a sequel! It's the best one in the franchise, so you can't fuck it up! But LJN knows the way to fuck it up. So, do as I say, and like any other game reviewer that says about this one, never play this game again. It'll save you some time. Choose the right fate and terminate this piece of shit! Hasta la vista, baby.